babies, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today we are making a cheery, lemony lotion that I'm calling Little E's Lemon Shea Hand Lotion. This lovely lotion was born of a request of some friends of mine. They have a young daughter whose hands tend to really crack and bleed in dry weather, and they were wondering if I could make her a lotion that she would enjoy using, because many of the ones that she uh, used many of the ones that they had stung her skin and so she really didn't like using them That request really resonated with me because that's what my hands were like when I was young as well I remember being around 10 years old and having my hands cracking and bleeding and it being really painful And my mother applying hand lotion to my hands before I went to sleep and it stinging and burning and being really uncomfortable Which of course just perpetuated that cycle of me not wanting to use lotion because it hurt and then my hands hurting because the skin was cracked and bleeding and then of, of course the lotion didn't hurt if your hands weren't already cracked and bleeding and so it was just this very uncomfortable cycle that I didn't break until later in life when I kind of found some better hand lotions to use and well 10 year olds aren't really known for their skincare routines are they? So I asked little E what kind of scents she liked and kind of listed a few things and she perked up at the idea of lemons so that is where the scent for this uh, lotion comes from. Knowing that her skin was dry and irritated, I made sure to include lots of soothing, moisturizing ingredients. For soothing, we have wonderful colloidal oatmeal and panthenol, also known as vitamin B5. I've also included some shea butter as sort of the main fat in our oil phase because I find shea butter is just fabulous for dry, upset skin. For oodles of moisturizing goodness, I have included quite a lot of vegetable glycerin, 20%. Sounds like a lot, but it is actually really quite nice, uh, especially on the hands when applied in smaller amounts. It works really, really quickly and is just gorgeous. To help counter the stickiness that you might find from the vegetable glycerin, I have also included some dimethicone 350, which further helps protect the skin and is a wonderful emollient. I'm happy to say that the little girl absolutely loves this lotion. She said it's her best friend after her brother which is pretty darn cute so hopefully you will really like it too to learn more about the ingredients used in this formulation and the benefits that they offer and the reasons that they're there please make sure you are checking out the blog post linked in the description box below and then also look up the ingredients in the humble bee and me encyclopedia there's a lot of really great information in there too and also information on substitution scaling shelf life and a whole lot more plus where to buy all the ingredients but come on let's go make some lotion we're going to begin by combining the ingredients for our heated water phase and our heated oil phase in two separate heat resistant glass measuring cups. So in this measuring cup, I already have 28.7 grams of distilled water. To that, I'm going to add 30 grams aloe vera juice, 20 grams vegetable glycerin, two grams colloidal oatmeal, and two grams powdered panthenol or vitamin B5. For our oil phase, we'll need four grams polo wax, complete emulsifying wax, six grams refined shea butter, three grams dimethicone 350, and for substitutions and alternatives, please read the blog post linked in the description box below and three grams settle alcohol. Before we heat everything up, I'm going to weigh the water phase and note that weight so we can replace any water lost to evaporation after heating is done. To heat our phases through, we're going to pop them in a water bath. So this is a wide flat bottom saute pan with about an inch or three centimeters of water in the bottom of it. And I'm going to go put this on the stovetop over medium heat for about 20 to 30 minutes until everything has melted and heated through to the same temperature. Once everything has heated through, you can remove your water bath from the heat and then remove your measuring cups from the water bath. So before we continue, we're just going to top off that water phase to that number we wrote down earlier. And then we're going to add the water phase to our oil phase. Give that a quick stir and then we're going to whip out our immersion blender and give this a blend. Make sure you are starting with a few short bursts before working up to a full blend. Okay, so that was about four minutes of blending. It's uh, come together really nicely, but still very liquidy and very hot. So we're going to leave this to cool for a wee while and then come back and blend it some more. All right, so it's been about seven minutes. This, uh, you can see the top is thickening up a little bit, but it's kind of, you know, not uniform at all, separating a wee bit. So we're going to blend this some more. That was another two-ish minutes of blending and some stirring and whatnot. And you can see that this is looking lovely and rich and gorgeous and all these good things, but it is still too warm to add our cool down phase to. So I'm going to leave this to come to room temperature and then we can add our cool down phase. 
All right, so now that this lotion has fully cooled to room temperature, we can weigh out our cool down phase ingredients and incorporate those. So I have a small dish here on a more precise scale. We're going to start with some elantoin. We need 0.3 grams. We'll need half a gram of liquid germal plus. We're doing half a gram of essential oil or fragrance and I'm doing a blend of citrus mist from New Directions Aromatics and tea flower, also from New Directions Aromatics. I find the tea flower in the blend helps keep the uh, end product from smelling too much like sort of a lemony cleaning solution. You can also use lemon essential oil. And lastly, we're going to include just the tiniest amount of a water-soluble yellow dye. The amount that we weigh out is not going to register on the scale. Um, if it does register on the scale, you're probably making a lotion that will dye your skin yellow. So there you can see just how little dye there is in there. So up next, we're going to add a scoop of the lotion to our cool down phase, stir to combine, and then transfer it back to the parent batch and stir that to combine. And there we go. Isn't that looking absolutely decadent? So up next, we're just going to transfer this to a container and we are all done. For packaging, I will be using this screw top plastic jar from Yellow Bee. And there you go. You just made a batch of Little E's Lemon Shea Hand Lotion. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and please remember to go down to the description box below this video and click through to find this formulation on my blog where you'll find a lot more details, including all the amounts written out, links to places to buy all the ingredients, information on substitutions, scaling, shelf life, and a whole lot more. So thank you so much and I'll see you next time.